when I initially started printing the uh, Infinity Cube, it was taking about four, four and a half hours. And one of the settings that I've changed is I've added uh, Z hop of uh, 0 0.6 uh, millimeters. And that seems to be working real wood with my real, real well with my bed adhesion. Uh, one of the things I noticed was the uh, nozzle was actually knocking the part off of the bed as it, it moved over the part. So the Z hop has helped correct that. Now when I print the infinity cube using the uh, Z-hop of uh, 0 0.6 millimeters, uh, it's taken uh, 6 hours and 17 minutes. Well, after 6 hours and 17 minutes, the infinity cube has completed. Uh, this took me like three tries because it kept pulling off the bed. Every time I restart this printer, I have to make a Z adjustment, either up or down. Uh, it's really kind of strange. So uh, let's see how it comes off. Bed's still a little warm. There we go. So there's the Infinity Cube as it prints. I do have a little bit of rough right over here off the touch up with the uh, exacto but it's got hinges and hinges and so just break them get them moving they're always stiff right off the bed and then they free up and then you're able to make them go with one hand. So that was one direction. And this one was real free. So it's the ones that are on the bed are the uh, stiffest. So this is just one print and I print quite a few of these. I have a couple when I watch movies and stuff, I just keep them in one hand. Uh, once they're loosened up, they you can flip them around in one hand and go from there. So there you have it. An infinity cube.